Hi guys, today I'm doing a video on a face mask. I'm making just a few for family and friends, so I thought I'd also do a uh, video. And I found this one from this pattern that's, I'm slightly tweaking it, but I found the main pattern from Brie on Homemade on our homestead, and I'll link her YouTube channel in the description below. Uh, I simplified it a little bit from her pattern. I didn't do a filter pocket like she did. I just made it simple cotton. And the drawstring, I think she used rope, but I ended up using fabric that it's like a stretchy jersey fabric that I just made into a tubular for the tie and it kind of just goes around like this. You can actually kind of wear it like a necklace when you're not using it. Uh, it cinches up, covers the face, and then ties. And then the nose, I also put a wire in so you will get, you can get a nice uh, shape to cover your nose and kind of around your che cheekbones. And then it ties behind the head. So it kind of goes around uh, like this and ties pretty tight and pretty snug. It's kind of nice, you don't really lose it with it hanging around your neck. Let's go ahead and make this. The first thing I'm doing is the drawstring out of the stretch jersey fabric, and I'm doing this sort of like three point zigzag stitch, uh, so it can still stretch. You'll see as I sew, it'll be this stitch. You can kind of see it's this, uh, Three point zigzag stitch right here. It's not catching all the stitches, but it's not bad, and you can still stretch this fabric really well without the stitching breaking uh, for the drawstring. The next step is then to cut this strip off of the main fabric. Okay, and this is our drawstring, and then the next step is to turn it inside out. So I'm going to take one of a safety pin, maybe this fatter one, and just uh, turn this inside out. If you already have a string or something like that, it's definitely a lot easier. I don't really have any string or thick elastic or something for the tie, so I'm just using what I have at the moment. I really didn't want to buy any supplies for these masks if I didn't absolutely have to, so uh, I'm just using what I have. So whatever you have, get creative, and I'm sure you can find something in your house to to, to make the tie. Um, and like I said, I just have this jersey fabric, so this is what I'm using for the ties at the moment. Since I don't really have any rope or string, um, so this is what's working. And I actually like this because it's quite elastic. So it's very comfortable to wear, um, as opposed to trying to find something that did, wasn't elastic, you know, that isn't elastic, like rope, um, might not be quite as comfortable. And then we take the paper clip off and finish turning this inside out. Just kind of shimmying it along itself. There we go. Okay, and that's uh, our drawstring. And then maybe we'll just also we'll also just tie knots. On the ends, one. And two. There you go, and this is our drawstring. So then we take, this is gonna be the inside of our mask. I just have organic cotton, organic undyed cotton here. This is a six and a half inches by eight inches, and that includes a half inch seam allowance around the whole thing. Uh, and this fabric, this one will be the outside of the mask. And this one is actually 34% uh, hemp, 66% organic cotton. This just happens to be what I have. This one is 100% organic cotton undyed. This one has a bit of an enzyme wash to it. The organic cotton is what's going to be touching our face. I'm going to put this one on top, uh, right sides facing each other. 
And I'm just going to pin, pin this in place on top so that it doesn't really move around. Let's see. Maybe we'll line this up over here. I'm just going to pin the corners. Three. Okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do is just sew the two sides with our half inch seam allowance on either side. And I'm going to sew this with a straight stitch, uh, no zigzag. Can we do our half inch seam allowance? Cut off the extra, and then I'm basically sewing the top part, which is where the metal nose piece will go. So I'm sewing from a little bit inside from about here, because this is where the drawstring will flow through here. So from about here to here, just short, about a half inch short of the other seam. So we start about here. I'm just sort of eyeing it as well. It's not. Uh, a big deal. Okay. You just stopped a little bit short to leave a little openings here for the drawstring to go through. The next thing is to cut and prep our wire. So this wire is actually just for picture, it's like picture hanging wire that I have. It's very bendy. Uh, it works really well for a nose piece. Uh, I'm, think I'm thinking about just uh, six inches covers from the nose down the cheekbones pretty far. I don't really have like wire cutters, so it's just bending there until it breaks. That's our nose. This is our nose piece, and because it does kind of have sharp edges on this, I end up using a piece of cloth and kind of making a padding wrap for it. So I'm going to go steam and make this kind of roll this up into a little wrap like this uh, to encase that encases the wire and um, that kind of keeps the edges from poking out or having discomfort on the wire um, so I'm gonna go steam this and then we'll sew this okay so I just sort of steamed this into kind of like a roll you can kind of see it's just sort of rolled up um, and this is what's going to encase the our, our, our nose wire here so first thing though is I'm just gonna tack one end. So our length is good, yeah, we have extra. So I'm gonna roll this a little bit tighter and I'm just gonna tack this one end uh, fully closed. That's pretty good. And then just cut off the excess on the end here. That's our excess. So we have this neat little tight end. I'm gonna slip the wire inside where it's going to live. There we go, down to our end. And I'm gonna tack this end the same. that and then again same thing trim trim this edge as well I'm just gonna quickly run a stitch run a few stitches somewhere in the middle just tack it in a few places but be careful obviously not to hit that wire we obviously don't want the needle on the machine to break that's pretty good and try to get the the wire kind of as, as straight and flat as possible so it's easier to sew into the mask then we get our mask and Actually, I'm going to steam the mask. So now I have my mask flipped right side out. We have the sides sewn and we have the top where the nose is also sewn here. And we left little openings here and here 
for the drawstring to come through here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the metal nose wire piece uh, inside about right here, just underneath here. We're gonna sew it in there. Okay, so we place this inside like this. So it's kind of sitting in there on top of the, the seam. You can kind of see it just sits in there right on top of uh, the seam that's right in front of this. So you'll have a little bit of a raised edge right here where uh, the nose goes. So we're gonna stitch that down in place right there. That feels pretty good. We're really just gonna shove it and make sure it's really uh, shoved in the top part of the mask. And now we're sewing right on top of that sort of chunk of fabric. Definitely be careful when sewing this part because remember the wire is in all along here and you don't want to hit the wire with your needle. You might break your sewing needle. So you want to move pretty slowly as you move through this just in case that wire ends up getting right under the needle. Be careful at the end, especially if your wire is already a little bit bent. Mine tends to kind of bend out towards the needle right at the end, so I recommend just being really careful right at the end. And if your needle's bending out, really just push it back inside uh, towards this crease. And that's our, uh, so there it is. This is where our wire is kind of sits, sits in here. Our metal wire kind of sits in here and it's kind of padded, so it really shouldn't poke out sharp on the edges. Um, that feels pretty good. We're gonna take our drawstring and we're going to in, put this in the mask now before we sew up the bottom. So to do that, I'm just gonna kind of take a, I have this little, uh, it's for a knitting, <laughs> knitting machine, my knitting machine. I'm just going to see if I can shove this in this hole using this little hook. Uh, if not, usually a safety pin will also work, something else that kind of grabs it. It's probably better actually to tie to tie these knots on these ends after you have it inside. Okay, so there's that side. Comes down, up, down and around, and goes back up through this side. There's this hook. Okay, so now we're just going to finish, bring this down, down, then we'll sew this bottom edge. We're just going to sew this bottom, I'm going to press it up first with my iron, this up and this up, like so, so they meet like a little sandwich, and then we'll sew it. Okay, so we steamed this edge inside, it's pretty flat and smooth. We have our drawstring hanging out each end here and here, that looks pretty good. So now we're just going to sew this up. Again, we're not going all the way to the edge, we're leaving a little bit of space so that this drawstring has room to kind of wiggle in and out. We'll get actually a little closer to the edge. Okay. Okay, and that's basically our mask. So now we can slide these in and out. And this is our nose piece here. You can see it kind of bends and stays. So we've got a nice wire in there. I'll just have to fit, you know, I have some finishing threads to just hide. I'll hide those threads and then we'll check out the finished mask. Okay, so here is the finished mask. I finished all the threads hanging. We have our nose piece in here that kind of bends. So you put it over your head. I kind of always put uh, the organic cotton, undyed organic cotton towards my face because it's the most natural uh, fabric. This side is hemp organic cotton. It's just a blend. It's also all natural fiber as well, but the organic undyed cotton is quite nice and probably just best on the face. So you pull the threads, push it up, bend the wire to fit your face, your nose, and around your cheekbones. And then tie it up around your head.
and the nice thing about this is that you don't even really need to untie this. Uh, once you leave it tied and this is kind of your preferred length that fits around your head, you can actually just, you know, slide this on and off your head. When you take this off, slide this down like a necklace and also take it off your head. You don't really need to untie this necessarily, which is also kind of nice because then you know what kind of fits your head. There it is. There's the finished mask. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, try it out, make some masks for yourself and your friends. Please remember this is not a medical mask by any means. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, hit the little bell icon to get notifications when new videos come out and um, stay safe out there, stay well. And hopefully this will all pass soon and we won't be needing these masks much longer. Bye.